Hey guys and girls, my name's Dan and welcome back to The Forge in this episode of Hammer Time. Let's talk about why I'm going to call it Hammer Time. So subconsciously or, um, you know, just by pure coincidence, uh, I realised that I named uh, Forging Fridays after another YouTuber, uh, The Dirty Smith. Uh, I suggest you go check him out, I'll leave a link to his channel down below. Um, who, he also has a vlog series called Forging Fridays, where I think he took, teaches little tips and tricks and techniques on a Friday, uh, and then I started doing a channel called, uh, a vlog called Forging Fridays. So, whoops, uh, I don't want him to be upset with me, and I don't want anyone to say that I'm copying, and so I'm going to change the name of the series to Hammer Time. So, um, also, it frees me up a little bit, so I don't have to put these videos out on Friday, which has never happened. Sorry. <laughs> but, it frees me up a little bit. So, uh, from now on, 14 Fridays, Hammer Time, sex stuff. In this episode of Hammer Time, the first episode of Hammer Time, uh, I ended up at the college, um, and I'm going to show you around there. You saw some uh, pre-farriers doing a three-week uh, three course. They're learning some bits and bobs and stuff before they go away to start their apprenticeships. Um, a little bit of me um, messing around with some fittings for the forge and also a little bit of scrapyard stuff. There might be some other stuff in there as well, but um, I hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you on the other side. So it's Monday morning. I've come to the scrapyard. I've got some uh, metal to get rid of and I'm going to see if I can pick up something to make a forge with. Uh, mostly to show you guys how to build your own forge, um, but also because I might be doing a live show but I'm not sure yet, and it will be at my house because I don't have any internet connection, internet connection up the workshop and I don't want to move my forge again every time I move it, it just causes me problems. So uh, we're going to do that. So I'm going to show you uh, the scrapyard um, and see if we can get some videos of some cool machines and then um, see if we can find a drum of some description to make into a forge. So this is a pile of uh, brake discs and brake drums and they've got some truck drums here and I think I'm going to try and use one of those for the body of the forge. Uh, so I've just been over to a company called Tech Hose. Uh, hi guys, you might be watching this video, um, they're very interested uh, and I have nearly blown our entire budget on, <laughs> on, um, on fittings, so I'm an idiot. Anyway, that's fine. I've got the fittings. I'm going to go over to college uh, now because I need to pick up some bits for um, uh, for a friend. So he wants some old horseshoes. So I'm going to try and get some video up at the college and I've got to pick up some other bits and bobs as well from there. So I've come up to uh, Home Lacey, which is where the uh, School of Blacksmithing is in Herefordshire. Uh, it's a great place. It's where I did my degree. They run farrier courses. They run um, uh, sub-dip courses. They do all sorts of courses for blacksmithing. Uh, welding, fabricating, so on and so forth. I see if I can give you a little look around. Um, I think the place is amazing and they've spent a lot of time building this uh, venue for people to learn how to be blacksmiths, farriers and do other sorts of agricultural uh, agricultural jobs alike. Um, they've got this place here where they teach the uh, mechanics and then horsey girls. Uh, <laughs> so one of the things that they teach here is uh, farriery and um, you have to make horseshoes to be a farrier, and look at them, endless amounts. <laughs> so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna grab some out of here for a friend. Wow. <laughs> that looks nice. A set of shoes there. Have those. What course are you on? Of there you are, thank you. <laughs> Look good, it's going on the internet just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's too late, you said yes already.
squads and block brushes off Dave Fields is an um, ex-tutor and a mate of mine. Uh, he's a lovely bloke. Uh, he works at the college here. Um, he does a lot of work to these to get these good. You could just go and buy them offline, but he glues them together and soaks them in uh, Danish oil and does things to stop the bristles from falling out because he's the boss. Um, so yeah, so that was the college. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, talk to some of those farriers, young lads. Uh, they don't actually have apprenticeships yet. They've got to um, they've got to finish their first week, three week course. If they're good enough to get through that three week course, then a farrier might take them on. That's hardcore. I wouldn't. Um, yeah, the prospects for that job seem high. There's a lot of them going for, I guess, not very many jobs. So, is it Reservoir Dogs or Pulp Fiction, the tiny violin moment? I don't remember. Anyway, if you know, stick it in the comments. But uh, yeah, tiny violin moment, um, because uh, not only can I not forge, the last two days I've just made crap. Um, and that's probably because I'm stressing about competitions and lives and all that rubbish. But, um, every time I go to do something, I thought I had stock. I haven't got any stock, so now I've got to go into town. So the last two days have been an absolute waste of time, so I'm getting a bit fed up, really. <laughs> the lives and strives of a blacksmith. So I'm going to go into town, I'm going to send some stuff in the mail, um, and yeah, that's just the next, next two hours gone. So, I'd really have liked to get my uh, Patreon uh, welcome packs out and all the mail out this week. Um, but guess what? None of the merch has turned up. So if you're, if you pledged and you're waiting for a mug or a t-shirt or anything like that, it hasn't turned up. I have sent um, the people doing my t-shirts and mugs and stuff an email going, what the, because I need it. Um, but the guys, you guys, lucky guys who are your seven pound pledges, seven dollar pledges, uh, one of these, Oh, you can have the googly eyes. Yeah, these are going out now. I've just got another thing to deliver. I've got to write the addresses on, but these are going out. Um, so expect them very soon, guys. Uh, one's for Carlo and one is for Chris. So these are going, swinging their way to you as we speak. Uh, so this got delivered. This is Mill Way Oil, 100 weight. I use this in the Massey and um, it's good. I'm glad it turned up. Uh, I need to change the oil. Right, so at the Welsh, which is cool, and uh, I'll take you around and show you all the cool things that we've got on the blacksmithing stand, and then I'll take you around the show. So this gentleman here taught me at Hereford College of Arts, or college. Very well done, sir. Thank you for your contribution. So if I ever refer to Leggy, this is the man I'm talking about. Yeah, actual fact, Adrian, you know a little more about it than me. Well, tip me the wings and then you can talk about the project. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I really enjoyed giving you a little insight to the day-to-day -day runnings of the workshop. Um, and I hope you understand the change in the title. There's not much news other than the fact that, guys, if you're waiting for Patreon stuff, um, there, I did order the stuff, um, and then for some reason, I had to contact them and say, oi, where is it? And they were like, uh, really sorry, um, we'll resend all the stuff. So they're resending it, but it can take a while for that stuff to go through, uh, up to 15 days. So please bear with me, uh, I am on it. Uh, just waiting for the uh, like merch stuff to come to send to you guys. Talking of Patreons, I'd just like to give a shout out to two of my new Patreons. Uh, Thomas Rasmussen, sorry if I butchered that, and uh, Spencer Pearson. Um, I'm not sure if Spencer's your first name, but um, I know who is Spencer, so Spence, cool. Thanks guys for pledging, uh, it means a lot. Uh, it really does help the channel, it really does help me produce content for you guys uh, and uh, like I said, I will be getting merch out soon, uh, well, uh, welcome packs out soon.
So not much news in this episode other than the fact that uh, the Royal Welsh competition is done. You'll be finding out about that. It'll be a fairly hefty video. Uh, there's lots of content in there, but I think you guys will enjoy it. Loads of blacksmithing. Um, also, um, I'll be announcing the winner for the belt buckle uh, for the Patreons. Um, I'm going to try and do that in a live feed, so, but I'll let everyone know before it happens. And also, uh, there was a live, it did really well, I'm really pleased with how it went together. Um, hopefully, um, there's going to be more of that, because I enjoyed making it. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So, uh, thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, if you are a subscriber, ring that bell, because it gives you notifications of every time I post video. Which is important, because my channel has loads of content on there from everyone who wants to be a beginner blacksmith who doesn't know how to make tongs to me being a madman and forging uh, great big hammers. So if you enjoy that sort of stuff, go over and check out my channel. There's also vlogs, uh, this Hammer Time uh, vlog, for example. Uh, they will be posted fairly regularly, maybe once or twice a fortnight. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of stuff over there. Remember, chuck your comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. I read every single comment. I'm a bit behind with keeping up the comments, but I do try and reply to as many as possible. Um, and just generally thanks for being here. So uh, I'll chuck a video up here for the poker I just made and I will chuck a random video down here of some stuff that happened whenever. So thanks for watching guys, see you later, bye bye.